Yo, what's up guys? I'm Braylick Sanic and I'm gonna show you guys how to set up Steam input for a controller. Uh, this works with any game, but you know, it's a Minecraft tutorial, so, you know, of course. So the advantages of doing this is that you can boost your sense, you can do full keyboard on your controller. Uh, you can also have very light dead zones. As you can see, it's literally like pixely of how low the dead zones are. So I'm gonna show you guys a tutorial. I'm just gonna get straight into it. So step one, we're gonna have to install Steam. So I'm not really gonna show you guys how to do this because it's pretty self-explanatory. But you go on the Steam website and you install Steam. And then once you're on there, you just make an account. So then once Steam is installed, you wanna go up here to settings. And make sure your controller is plugged in because this usually only works with wired controllers. But I mean, even if you are using wireless, I wouldn't recommend it. I, I just think wired's better. So whatever controller you're using, you're going to have to enable support. So switch here, Xbox here, uh, and yeah, whatever controller you use. PlayStation works too. So we're going to go to desktop layout. Now, yeah, because the default one is garbage, so I'd recommend just making your own. So you go to edit layout, and you're just going to bind whatever you want to like your standard buttons. So... Uh, remember if you're doing PlayStation then it might show it different I'm not sure but the issue with uh, PlayStation I don't know if it's like this with switch too but you actually have to bind everything to keyboard binds now this is an issue because the left joysticks have to be WASD which means you can't do like like dead zoning and stuff with the left joystick but you know if you want to complain about that just go use DS4 Windows it's better for PlayStation but yeah you're just gonna set all your stuff if you want to have like mouse clicks showing on your screen, if you use Onyx or something, then set these to left mouse click and right mouse click. Uh, if you want to do full keyboard, uh, you have to use full keyboard gameplay on Minecraft. And you would just set whatever your... I mean, I do left joystick. I'd recommend doing joysticks if you don't use those. So I have those set to control and alt, but you can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And yeah, just remember to set everything to whatever you want. I just recommend setting it to whatever the default controller settings are. And once you're done with that, uh, I would recommend doing maybe 20 to 40. You could do lower, but most people are going to want to experiment with Boosted Sense if you you know, you can abuse that. So I'd recommend doing anything 20 to 40. Uh, so then we're going to back out and then we're going to fix our dead zones because this is the biggest issue. So some controllers have a dead zone like thing if you're using third-party controllers it may have software or like a button that lets you lower the dead zones but we'll just uh, pretend that doesn't exist so we're gonna open the calibration settings and I don't have much left joystick dead zone but right joystick is usually the most important so you can lower that this is really low by the way like around here you're really not even gonna notice it's gonna be just like PlayStation but you know if you have a uh, controller that has no drift or really low drift and go anywhere like over here and you can also test it if once you move it then it'll let you start testing there I almost forgot a very important step uh, for right joystick you should set this to joystick mouse because it'll give you way better dead zones now uh, it's weird for some controllers but uh, if for some like it lets you move around the joystick so here, I'll just move it around with, yeah, I'm using my right joystick and it'll move the mouse. Now, for Xbox controllers at least, this isn't an issue, but if you use something like Switch, I believe, it'll make your inventory arranging like a little complicated, so use that at your own risk. If you're fine with high dead zones, use high dead zones, but otherwise that's probably going to be your better option. And don't forget to uh, save your layout by doing export layout, and then you can save it to whatever you want and then you can access your layouts if you go to your layouts. If you plan on playing on Java, by the way, you have to have everything to keyboard uh, support, so no controller binds work. Okay, so now we're pretty much done. All we have to do is go to settings, and your sensitivity is going to be usually higher if you're using 20 to 40 on Steam. So I think if you wanted to use like standard sense with around that, you'd do like 80, 60, something around this range. But keyboard and controller have to be the same sense because, or at least if you're using the low dead zone thing. And for full keyboard, like spinning and stuff, you just go down to look left or look right smooth. 
and set that to whatever it was on your joystick and put your smooth rotation speed to whatever you want. Pretty easy tutorial because you know it's very easy to set up. People just don't uh, put in the dedication to learn how to do this, which I can understand. But if you're on PC and use anything besides PlayStation controllers, then I would recommend setting up Steam. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. And sorry I haven't been uploading much, but I'll try to get you guys some uploads soon. Bye bye!